The deafening silence the universe gives back in our search for extraterrestrial life is truly puzzling. Considering the vast expanse of the universe and the billions of potentially habitable worlds it holds, one might anticipate signals from every direction screaming, here we are. But what we have received so far is absolute silence, not even a whisper. This perplexing puzzle is known as the Fermi Paradox, so join me, the Cosmic Skipper, as we explore some of the reasons why the universe is so silent. If the entire 13.6 billion year history of our galaxy were compressed into a single 24 hour period, the emergence of Homo sapiens 200,000 years ago occurred a little over a second ago. In this brief moment, humanity has made an extraordinary journey from primitive hunter-gatherers to a technologically advanced civilization with a serious commitment to colonizing the solar system. The acceleration of our progress in this short time frame is remarkable, prompting us to wonder how far we could expand our reach given another second, or even a full minute, which would represent 12 million years on our cosmic clock. Such a timescale would take us well beyond our current reach, which extends roughly 200 light years into space through the steady outward transmission of our radio signals, started just over 100 years ago. Through these radio waves, our existence is gradually expanding to an ever widening audience within our galaxy. Yet, amid this expansion, a perplexing question persists. If we are broadcasting our presence, an event that has only occurred in the last second of our cosmic timeline, why have we not encountered any evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations that preceded us? Especially when you consider the staggering technological advancements possible over the billions of years that preceded our fleeting second. Considering the likelihood of extraterrestrial life in the universe, this great silence is a dilemma but we do have various hypotheses that may help explain it, which in turn will resolve the Fermi Paradox. If a key component required for complex life was exceedingly scarce in the universe, it would lead to a significant lack of intelligent life within it. This is known as the Rare Earth Hypothesis, which suggests that for complex life, resembling what we have here on Earth to evolve, specific and crucial conditions must exist. On our planet we enjoy a unique combination of factors, such as residing in the habitable zone around our star, the stability of our sun, and the presence of a robust magnetic field that shields us from harmful cosmic effects. According to the Rare Earth Hypothesis, these conditions are so exceptional and so infrequently found in the universe that intelligent life may be a remarkable and rare exception rather than a common occurrence. This hypothesis raises the possibility that the emergence of life resembling ours is an exceedingly rare phenomenon, making it an extraordinary exception within the cosmic vastness. Serving as a structured framework for estimating within the Milky Way the potential number of advanced extraterrestrial civilizations, the Drake Equation, crafted by astrophysicist Frank Drake, aimed to resolve the Fermi Paradox by providing a systematic approach in organising the search for alien intelligence. Comprising a complex amalgamation of variables, it encompasses critical factors such as the rate of star formation, the fraction of stars that hosts planets, and the likelihood these planets could foster life. It also takes into account variables relating to the emergence of intelligent life, along with its potential for a long-lasting existence. Using these factors, the Drake equation is able to estimate the number of communicative civilizations. Unfortunately though, the Drake equation leads to a perplexing outcome in that it brings us right back to the central Fermi paradox. Where indeed is everyone?
The Great Filter Hypothesis introduces a profound and troubling concept in our quest to understand the Fermi Paradox. It suggests there might exist an elusive and monumental barrier that hinders the progression of a civilization, preventing them from reaching the stage of interstellar communication or travel. This barrier is referred to as the Great Filter and it could emerge at any point in the evolution of life. For all we know, it could be that the emergence of complex life itself was the Great Filter and that by emerging from it we are among a select few complex life forms that have passed through it. Troublingly though, the nature of the Great Filter remains an elusive unknown and it could still be in our future, which presents a disconcerting prospect. It means we have yet to navigate whatever this monumental barrier is, which could be an environmental catastrophe, an ethical or societal collapse, or even a galactic catastrophe, which causes us to falter and fall by the wayside. It raises the sobering possibility that many civilizations may be confronted with the great filter that they simply cannot overcome, and so fail to transcend their home worlds and never reach the stars. Within the enigma of the Fermi Paradox, where the vastness of the universe implies a high probability for encountering extraterrestrial civilizations, the Dark Forest Hypothesis presents one of the grimmest perspectives on the Great Silence. It imagines a universe that is a sprawling and mysterious dark forest where each advanced civilization plays the role of a hidden predator. Their prevailing instinct is to remain concealed, akin to creatures in the depths of a forest, in order to evade potential threats and harm. The motivations of these civilizations lie in their belief that conflict among civilizations is inevitable, as a universe that is teeming with diversity, competition for essential resources, territory or supremacy will lead to the inescapable reality of conflict where the one perceived as weaker or less advanced will find itself in a precarious situation, vulnerable to exploitation or, in the worst case, face obliteration. These are just a few of the hypotheses that may explain why we have the Great Silence, one of which may help resolve the Fermi Paradox. But I'd like to leave you today with a quote from the late Arthur C. Clarke. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both are equally terrifying.